a question here about what I think about those uh, five day challenges or sometimes it's a 30 day challenge and usually like a Facebook group or something like that. Now I have not done those. I think maybe years, a decade ago, I maybe did one, but I haven't done those in, in over 10 years because I guess I got turned off by them because I saw, you know, people who do them usually are, it's a sneaky way to sell a group program. Um, it's like, they build it as a free challenge. Oh, so exciting. You get this for free. Um, they don't tell you. They're not transparent that uh, we're launching this group program that's $2,000. And as a sample, you can participate in this 30-day challenge for free. Now, if they, if they phrase it that way, I'd be, I'd be cool with that. That's authentic. But so many people, like, they do this free challenge stuff. And, and then there's resentment on both sides afterwards because... It's like the resentment on the person who started the challenge because they're like, oh man, I worked so damn hard on gathering all of you here in this Facebook group, answering all your questions, doing all these Facebook lives. And now and there are not enough people buying into my group program. I literally had someone um, email me uh, uh, you know, saying that, um, well, I've had many people email me over the years saying they worked so hard on this free thing and then not enough people bought. I'm like, Did you, you went in without transparency and then now you're resentful that people didn't see your ulterior motive. Okay, so the resentment on the side of the creator and the resentment on the side, sometimes, not always, but there's some resentment on the side of the consumer because they're like, oh, now you're pitching your group program really hard and maybe sometimes you even make me feel bad that I'm not part of it because I took part in your free challenge. You worked so hard on this thing. Okay, got it. So it's like, that's maybe why I never did the challenge thing. I'm like, I do challenges though, actually in my paid groups. Um, but if you were going to do the challenges, don't learn from the people who do the bait and switch stuff, man. That stuff is just like, there's no need to, you know, it's like, just sell your thing up front, be transparent. What's wrong with selling a $2,000 program? Nothing, whatever, per, however much you charge. I don't care how much you charge. Be transparent about it. Say, Hey, we're launching. I'm, aren't you proud of it? Aren't you excited by it? Of course you are. Shouldn't, isn't it worth $2,000, $10,000? I don't care how much you charge. $200, I don't care how much your pr program charges. Isn't it worth it? Of course it's worth it. So why are you shy and doing a bait and switch? Stop it. Just be upfront. Up Super proud of my $10,000 for one day program. <laughs> you know, I'm being ridiculous now. About this thing, it's so worth it. You're going to have, have your life change. Isn't it worth $10,000? No, whatever. However you sell authentically. So as a sample, you get this five-day challenge. You know, and then if you decide you want to join my $10,000 for a day program, you can do that afterwards. All right, let's get going on the challenge. If, if even you don't, it's all good because it's not for everybody, you know. So hope that helps with the transparency of it.